Today, Henry Ford Health System also announced it is partnering with the federal government to increase access to monoclonal antibody therapies. That includes opening a new infusion center at Chass in southwest Detroit and expanding infusion services at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit, Henry Ford Macomb in Clinton Township, and Henry Ford Allegiance in Jackson. You do not have to be a Henry Ford patient to be treated at any of the sites, but you will need a referral from a doctor. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at who is eligible to receive these so far underutilized treatments. Yeah, Kim, so these drugs have been available under an emergency use authorization since late last year, November actually. Initially, the supply was tightly controlled over concern that there would be a very high demand. Well, it's turned out that we actually have plenty. What we need is for doctors and patients to be aware of when they can be used. The names are hard to pronounce, Bamlamivimab and Edisevimab from Eli Lilly and another combination cocktail from Regeneron. They are monoclonal antibodies that, when given as a single IV infusion, immediately give antibody protection against the spike protein on the surface of the coronavirus. The research on their effectiveness is what has guided the FDA in determining who can and cannot receive the drugs. Starting with the groups who are not eligible for these treatments, if you are hospitalized with COVID-19 or if you require supplemental oxygen, you do not qualify for treatment with a monoclonal antibody. In order to qualify for these therapies, you need to have tested positive for COVID-19 and be within 10 days of symptom onset. Also, you need to have at least one of the following high-risk conditions, obesity, diabetes, chronic kidney disease, an immunosuppressive illness, or age over 65. Now you're also eligible if you are between 55 and 65 years old if you have high blood pressure, heart disease, or chronic lung disease. Now finally, it can also be given to children between 12 and 17 who have other very specific medical conditions. So here's the bottom line. If you have symptoms and you test positive for COVID and you fit any of those criteria, you should contact your doctor about being referred for an infusion of a monoclonal antibody treatment. Now, I know that is a lot of information, so we will post the indication for these medications on our website, clickondetroit.com, as well as a link to another couple of websites that can help you find locations where these infusions are available. So help me understand, and, and just so we're all clear, these monoclonal antibodies are not a substitute for being vaccinated. Is that right? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. The best thing for everyone is to avoid getting COVID to begin with, and that, of course, can really only happen with a vaccine. These treatments are only useful after you've become infected. Okay. And while they are very helpful, even with treatment, many people who are treated will still get worse. Yeah, got, gotcha. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate the information as always.